More than 30 people in Hillsborough will be spending the night elsewhere for the foreseeable future. What started as a dumpster fire jumped to the facility where they live, making the building uninhabitable. So all afternoon, families were figuring out what's next for their displaced loved one. Elaine Carter's 85-year-old mom is shaken up. There are a lot of them are upset because it's a change for them and, you know, that's their home. Um, but I tried to explain that it's only temporary and that they are going to build it back and they can go back home soon. The church next door opened up as a shelter and the Hillsborough School District offered buses to transport seniors. Carter waited with her mom for hours as residents were shuttled to nearby assisted living facilities. There was no fatalities, no one got burnt, so we're blessed that they all got out okay. The fire started in a dumpster and then quickly spread to the kitchen. Paint Creek's fire chief says there were about 35 firefighters out here. He doesn't suspect foul play, but rather it looks like it was an accident. As far as the damage and the displacement, I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to make the repairs and, and get the residents back into the facility. Logan Zerfus's 87-year-old grandpa is one of the 36 residents waiting to return home. He ran over to the facility immediately after his mom told him about the fire. One of the big problems that they had was everybody was really, really cold. So um, we ran up, my friend ran up to my car and his car and we got as many hoodies and coats that we had. Firefighters managed to put out the fire in under 30 minutes. He's pretty shooken up. You know, at his age, it's tough to go through something like this, but he's doing all right. In Hillsboro, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. And Trustwell Living says a construction manager will be on site tomorrow to assess the damage so people can get back as quickly as possible. He adds most of the damage is limited there to the kitchen area. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.